A lot of men are apprehensive about wearing printed or patterned shirts. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use just one printed shirt, in this case one of our signature florals, and dress it four different ways. Now we'll do this by pulling different colours from this main print and using that to not only accessorise but select the other garments that we wear with this particular shirt. So the first look we've got Richard in today is a look suitable for most spring occasions, whether it be a wedding or race carnival event, or just drinking with friends at a lounge bar. Now we've selected our floral print shirt. As you'll see, there's a number of different colours through this, through your strong pinks and watermelon colours, to your light blues and even cream and tan. We're going to maximise those colours to create these outfits. Now first of all, we've taken our Spring Summer 15 linen light blue blazer with white accent buttons. We've slipped this over the top. Now what this is doing is it's bringing the blue forward in the print and making the blue the feature, allowing us to use other blue tones through the rest of the outfit. But the blue also works really well because it helps to make the solid pink watermelon colour pop a little bit more as well. In keeping with the trend, we've paired it back with a lightweight dove grey chino. We've rolled the cuff once again to expose the ankle, but also to show off our loafer. Now this loafer is a suede loafer in a blue tone with light leather lace detail from Croft. Finally, we've accessorised the shirt with tan and rose gold accessories. Now on this occasion, using that rose gold face is going to bring forward the lighter tones again in the shirt remembering that whenever we're selecting pieces to accessorise a printed shirt, we should be tying back the colours in those accessories to the shirt. With Richard's second look, we've taken the same floral shirt, but kept it more casual. So we've taken off the blazer, we've popped the collar, we've rolled the sleeves and pushed them up to just below the elbow. Now to keep the look looking fresh, we've paired it back with a pair of tailored cropped white pants as you'll see here. Now the pants are already cuffed, exposing the ankle. Now we've finished the look by simply adding a few simple details, bearing in mind that the floral print should always be your main focal point. So we've added a blue and white NATO strap Daniel Wellington watch with a rose gold face, which once again pulls through the blush and pink tones in the shirt, as well as the blue tones. And we've finished the look off with a pair of boat shoes. You'll see here we've gone with navy leather shoes with white top stitch and white lace detail. This look is suitable for most casual occasions. So on this occasion, you'll see with Richard's third look, we've gone for a slightly darker look. Now we've done this by pulling the darker navy and blue tones from the floral shirt through by using a indigo colored slim fit business pant. Now the great thing about our Uberman business pants is that they come with non-slip tabs on the inside of the waistband which help give you a clean finish on your tuck and avoid your shirt coming out during the day. Now to finish this look we've slipped on our lightweight grey wool and silk blend blazer with accent buttons. Once again you'll see we've got a quarter of an inch of the shirt showing beyond the cuff bringing that colour down the arm and balancing the outfit on both sides. To finish off the look We've paired the outfit back with a black belt with silver buckle and tied that in again with our Croft black patent leather round toed boots. Now as you'll see with our pant we're getting a nice long line through the leg and we're getting full rise through the middle there. So this is keeping your body proportioned but also elongating the lines. This look would be suitable for a number of occasions from the office to drinks but also for most formal occasions as well. You'll see with Richard's fourth look today, we've gone for a casual take on this particular floral shirt and we've incorporated a little bit of colour because I want to show you that you can still wear colour with a floral or printed shirt. The key thing to remember is to select one or two colours that feature throughout that print and only use those colours sparingly. So on this particular occasion, you'll see we've paired back our floral printed shirt with a solid maroon chino short and we've rolled the cuff so it sits just above the knee. The other great thing as well is that the cuff is cutting in at the slimmer part of Richard's thigh, which is ensuring that his legs look slim. In an instance where a pant cuts higher, if it's the widest part of your thigh, it tends to make you look bottom heavy 
and very large there. We've also worked the look back with a woven leather belt and then finished the look off with a pair of suede cropped lace-up shoes. The last thing we need for this outfit is a pair of sunglasses. It is a day wear look, so we're going to select a pair of tortoiseshell sunglasses with round reflective lenses. Now reflective lenses are a huge trend at the moment and they throw back to the colours we're featuring in the wrist accessories, the belt, also in the laces of the shoe and you'll also know that there are some golden, beige and cream tones through the shirt. So you'll see today I've shown you four ways of wearing the one printed shirt. Stay tuned to Uberman TV for more great ideas for wearing printed and patterned shirts.